Coming up, a milestone day for his career and life. Silver tip center Gage Gonsalves is now a signed prospect of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Mike Benton here for Tips TV. Gage joining us now from home in Mission, British Columbia. Gage, thank you for joining us. Congratulations. How long do you think it takes for all this to finally sink in and feel like it's reality? Yeah, thanks, Ben. First off, and uh, yeah, it's going to take some time to, uh, to getting used to here. With, with everything that's been going on in the hockey world with, uh, with COVID and not being able to play, a lot of guys aren't getting assigned. So, yeah, when it, when it came, I was just, me and my family were just so, so excited and so thrilled. And, yeah, it's honored, just so honored to be going to a great organization. Obviously, the former past Stanley Cup champs. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, just pumped. How did you find out and when did you get a feeling that this was coming? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, my parents actually knew a couple of days before I knew. I was still at uh, Team Canada camp, and they didn't want to distract me. So, yeah, uh, the day I got sent home, I was just in the in the hotel at the airport uh, waiting to catch my flight later on that night. And then uh, my agent, Shane Corston, and my parents wanted to have a group FaceTime call, which was kind of weird. Like, we'd never done that before. And, yeah, and then he, he let me know, and, yeah, just to see my – my uh, my mom, my dad, and my sister back home, just so pumped for me and stuff. It was just an unbelievable feeling. I mean, what a turnaround for a day like that. Off the top, I, I can't think of a story <laughs> that compares to what you went through in the last couple of weeks. World Junior tryout camp, quarantine, then losing your grandfather, and then a life milestone with an NHL contract. What's the house been like, you know, ever since you got back home? Yeah, it's been uh, – it's definitely the craziest, uh, most unexpected week in my entire life. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, we had we had a lot of downs uh, to start with, with the with the quarantine, just not being able to play, and then obviously with my grandfather passing. But uh, yeah, it's nice to have a little bit of a up. The house has just been uh, it's filled with baking right now. <laughs> People coming over saying congratulations, and obviously with losing my grandpa, my 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 family's so big down here. Uh, they've just and even in we have a couple of family in Calgary just sending food and little things and and flowers and stuff and just saying congrats and sorry for your loss so yeah I don't know it's been really nice to uh to be home and just uh just to kind of see everybody even if it means they're standing outside dropping off food it's it's nice to see everybody again you mentioned something so emotional and it was hard not to tear up you said grandpa would have been proud I can't wait to buy him a drink when we all get to heaven what impact did he make in your life and in, in your career yeah he was uh he was massive for me ever since uh, i was young he'd be driving me uh early morning to hockey practice or even just picking me up from school and stuff like that and we'd always have these uh after school we'd always go out to his favorite little corner store out in Duroche, where right near my my old elementary school and i he'd grab some chicken legs we'd share a little box he'd grab a little shooter or something for the for when he got home to deal with me i guess but uh but yeah, he was just, uh, he's my best friend growing up. And uh, yeah, I'm going to miss him a ton. And I, I know that he'll be uh, over top of me, uh, sorry, uh, watching me. And I hope uh, I can keep making him proud. If you could go back and replay one day in your life with him, what day would that be? Oh, that'd probably be, uh, that'd probably be the day I got drafted. Uh, yeah, we were, we were watching it inside and outside because of COVID and stuff like that. So yeah, I found out and I was inside. I took the phone call really quick. Saw my, like, just hugged my parents and stuff. And then I turned to the door and saw him just sitting on a chair with the biggest smile I've ever seen. Those, those bright eyes and just, yeah, he was like, we did it, buddy. We did it. So yeah, I ran to him, gave him a big hug. And yeah, that was just, uh, Whew, I was just that that'll stick with me for a lifetime and uh, I know it stuck with him it's one of those things where you file away and say you smile because it happened uh, you'll be in your third year yeah. as a silver tip coming up what do you miss from the coaching and the teammates that set the stage for your success yeah they've been uh they've been a huge the, probably the biggest part of just my development uh ever since I I got to the league with uh with do with uh Connor Dewar, Riley Sutter, Kindoff, like shot, Bryce last bike. year, Willie Offset these past two years, and Louie and Mike and Hoodie. Now it's just been everybody's played Ross such a big such a big part in me getting here and everybody's brought so many different aspects of the game. 
like every single player and coach that you have, they all bring different stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to keep soaking in. I think I, I'm a long way from my uh, my peak. I think I get, definitely get a lot better in all aspects of my game. So yeah, I'm going to keep uh, keep doing whatever they say because it's been working so far. So I'll, I'll stick to that. How does World Junior tryouts motivate you for this next season? Yeah, I think it's big. I think that, uh, I don't know, I had a great experience at camp. It was my first time with Hockey Canada and they're so professional. It was unbelievable. Yeah, but obviously it was disappointing that I didn't make the team. I'm going to take uh, a lot of stuff from that camp and, and put it into my uh, into my training before we come back. And uh, yeah, I want to be... Uh, I want to put up a couple more points and and want our team to go a little bit farther than a couple of those guys that uh, that made the team. But yeah, it's just a just a competitor in me. So yeah, I think we still got a lot to prove this year. By saying you want to increase your offensive production, why is an off season like this so important to you? I think it's just uh, massive, just to try and stay in the loop. I think. Uh, with this big off season, you're really going to see who comes out of it, uh, comes out of it better, or who kind of stays the same. Uh, yeah, nobody's ever experienced this in, in all of hockey and stuff like that. So I think that uh, the more you can do right now, to to keep yourself ahead of the pack and just uh, help your game out, is really gonna really gonna show what what you did in the off season once we uh, start playing again. Well, nobody has has experienced something like this. Us being home, no season starting yet, and it's almost Christmas time, but we're getting closer to finally uh, yeah. dropping the puck one of these days. So, Chris is being so close now. What did you ask Santa? <laughs> Not a lot, to be honest. It was tough. My my. Parents oh, don't be so modest now. Santa Santa kept uh, Santa kept asking me what my things was, but uh, yeah, a couple new clothes. Uh, some new headphones. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get Santa to, to get fork up the fork up some money for maybe the Norma Tech boots, the little bag or whatever. I remember Satsi Riley Sutter had them my rookie year, and we roomed on the road, and I'd be bugging them 24 seven to try and use them. So, so hopefully that's definitely was number one on the Christmas uh, the Christmas list. So I don't know. Yeah, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Oh, those boots help Riley Sutter. He's playing pro, and certainly uh, you're on that fast track to where he's at right now, and even as well going even more far than that. Gage Gonsalves, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you very, very soon. Looking forward to it. Thanks again. Merry Christmas.